Hi guys, welcome to smackbox.org. Just going to be a quick tutorial on this program called Quick SSHD. This uh, application is pretty cool. It lets you SSH in from your computer to your Android device. Okay, uh, first thing I'm going to do here is activate my Wi Fi and uh, launch the application. Once you launch the application, you're going to see a little button here that says off. You're going to have to turn that on. That actually turns on the application. Okay, you can have to specify a port here, which I'm using 2222. Turn on password and shared keys and assign a password. We're going to use the password TOP for now. And uh, I don't think it actually went in there. TOP. Okay, and you're going to hit done. Once you do that, you're going to come on over here to your um, terminal and you're going to start the SSH process. SSH into that IP address that they have there on the screen, which is 51. Specify the port, which is 222. And it should actually prompt you if you want to accept the keys. You're going to go, yes, I've already done this before, so I already accepted the keys. Uh, you're going to type in that password that you gave it, which is top. And you should see your dollar sign showing that you're in. Okay, you can do a list. Uh, actually, let's change directories into Etsy and then uh, do a list then so you can see some of the Android files. And you can also uh, change into your SD card and take a look in there if you wanted to. And you can just use a terminal like you normally would. Alright, um, next thing I'm going to show you here is how to use like FileZilla. You're going to come into FileZilla, you're going to set up a new connection underneath Site Manager. You're going to use SFTP, which is basically using SSH over FTP. You're going to take your logon type, put normal. You're going to assign it a username, give it whatever you want. Password is the password that you set on the phone. And you're going to go ahead and connect. Once you connect, same thing. It's going to ask you if you want to accept the keys. You're going to hit yes. And it's going to go ahead and connect. Once it connects, you're inside the uh, phone or the device. Android device, you're going to have access to all your files and everything else like you normally would using FTP. Here's your my SD card. If I want to transfer things in from music over to my music folder, I can do that. If I want to copy files out and copy to my desktop, I can do that without a problem. All right, so this is a very useful tool and it helps us to cut down on typing on a on a phone or device instead of typing in a nice computer or laptop that you might have. Alright, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. I really haven't ran into any problems. Uh, the application, you can pick it up in Android Market. It's only $1.99. It's worth every penny uh, if you like to use Terminal like I do. It's, it's very simple uh, to install. It, no problems. Got any problems, just give me a shout at uh, smackbox.org. Hopefully uh, I can answer all your questions. Take it easy. Peace.